So apparently the people on TikTok like this. You walk in and boom, puppy. And now we're TikTok famous. You must choose, Mr. Bond. Get your nails clipped or perish in the river below. What will it be, Mr. Bond? <laughs> Oh, Don't be so sad. I know it's hard sometimes. Stop and take a deep breath. I promise it will it'll be okay. Do you recognize this flower? This is the grape hyacinth. And while it's not native to the U.S., it's very common in gardens this time of year. Very common. And unlike the regular hyacinths it shares a name with, grape hyacinths are edible. Want to see them do a cool trick? First, we're going to gather a cute little bouquet of them. Mmm, smells grapey. Optional spring photo shoot should happen now. Supermodel work. Turn to the left work. Now turn to the right work. Then you're going to strip the flowers off of their stem into a little jar. Like so. And now we have our flowers in a jar. Pour some boiling water on them. Ooh, she's already turning blue. Let's let her infuse for a bit and we'll check back in in an hour or so. Let's give these guys a strain. Okay, so here I have a jar of fresh lemonade that I made using my friend Laura's lemons. Here's our grape hyacinth infusion, which just looks weirdly gray in this light and I hate it. It doesn't look this way in real life. What do you think is gonna happen when I add this to this? Place your bets now. Three, two, one. Yeah! Much like with our friends Violets, the purple pigmentation in grape hyacinths is a pH indicator. Oh, it matches my lipstick. These pigments are called anthocyanins and they change to pink when exposed to an acid and blue-green when exposed to a base. Ooh. This is also the story of how I found out that my water at this house is more basic than the water at my last house. No offense, house. The grape hyacinth infusion adds a nice earthy grape flavor to this lemonade and it's actually really tasty. Thanks for doing magical science with me. Happy snacking. Don't die. Also a note, just work with the flowers of grape hyacinths. The bulbs have to be cooked sufficiently to break down the saponins, which are a tummy no-no. So let's just stick to the flowers, okay? Capiche, capash. Thank you. Love you. Bye.
on this TikTok. Go ahead, try me, comment as many times as you want. All I ask is that you like and share. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's told you this today, but I'm happy you're here. I'm really happy you're here. Please don't go away. Please. No one's ever stuck with me this long before. But I look at you, I can feel it. And I, I, I look at you and I... Push P. Push P. have to put on my fucking double seeing glasses because I can't even begin to see the amount of bullshit coming from me. No, little German boy, to walk into that gay club. Oh, oh my god, this club is full of Yasegwinen. <laughs> I'm sorry in advance. Wake up at 11.30, feeling like a bag of shit. Oh no, all my clothes are dirty, so I'm smelling like a bag of shit. Go to pour my coffee and I miss my cup. OMG, that is just my luck. Look in the mirror, say what's up, you useless fuck. Are you feeling what I'm feeling? I haven't had a shower in the last nine days. Whoa, staring at the ceiling and waiting for this feeling to go away But it won't go away I'm not really feeling like I wanna get lit Tell you how I'm feeling, well, I feel like shit Oh, shit There once was a cat with a hungry belly The name of the cat was Whiskers Jelly His throat was dry and his bow was bare Meow me fairy cat's meow Soon may the kittyman come with birds and mice and some tasty nums. One day when the craters come, we'll eat till our bellies are full. While Jelly got his boys and they gathered round, they scattered seeds from a sack they found. In hopes the seeds they spread on the ground would bring some critters a boot. Soon may the kittyman come with birds and mice and some tasty nums. One day when the craters come, we'll eat till our bellies are full. While the gang was bored and morale had dipped To one of the seeds grew green catnip They snipped and they stacked and they all got ripped They all had a meow that night I'm high on crack
making my way downtown. I'm a bee. Piss me off and I'll sting your knee. Girl, I'll give you what you want. What were you just watching? If you used to smoke cigarettes and now you vape, you're a real piece of shit. <laughs> you used to be cool, man. Now you're standing on some street corner filleting a tiny exhaust pipe like Fonzie's shit sibling. You know who I feel sorry for? Ashtray manufacturers. They're all sleeping in their cars now thanks to all these vapors. And it's not just the ashtray people. What about the matches people? Mm, 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 mm. Spare a thought for the companies that used to print nightclub logos onto those little books of matches so that grizzled old homicide detectives could fish one out of the pocket of a corpse and know where to start looking for the killer. <laughs> ah, it's bullshit. Thousands upon thousands of unsolved homicides just because these people want to vape. <laughs> Fucking sick of it.